Good morning and welcome to another day of daily devotions from Manitowoc Cooperative Ministry, where we are the heart of the lake shore. I'm Pastor Matt Sauer. So this week um, is kind of an interesting week because on Wednesday we start Lent when the, on the day of Ash Wednesday and we have a whole theme set there. So for Monday and Tuesday, we're just going to take um, a few random sections about an invitation. The first one is an invitation to the eternal feast, and it comes from Isaiah, the 55th chapter. So listen to these words. Oh, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and you that have no money, come, buy, and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen, so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love. The invitation is to come to a feast where you don't have to worry about whether you can bring the right food. You don't have to worry about paying for the best food, but all will be there. The goal is, is come, even if you don't have enough money for it, come and eat and drink. Why, we're told, should we waste our money on things that don't? sustain us. So in other words, this is an invitation from God to stand in solidarity with all those who are hungering and thirsting in the world to come to this feast and not have to labor and never get to eat, to never have to work hard and never get any rewards. This is a feast that is eternal it's not just something that happens here on earth, but it's something that we look forward to. Because the flip side of this invitation is, is that you and I do not always get on this earth what we need or perhaps even what we deserve. The world is cruel. The world doesn't play by the rules of God. And therefore, the good are often punished. Those who show compassion are considered weak. Those who offer forgiveness and love are often run over by ego power trips of the world. But now is the invitation that not to worry if you don't have the resources that the world calls for power and to eat and to feast and to buy your own homes and all that. There is no worry because the time is coming when you will be with God and God will say, come and feast with me on this incredible banquet table. There will be no hunger, no sorrow, no homelessness, nothing like that. It will all just be a wonderful time. This is your invitation. God has made a promise of steadfast love to you. Reach out and accept the invitation. It will not be easy, but the invitation is there. In this upcoming season of Lent, we're going to learn more about taking those journeys, those steps, how we get from the where the world has placed us to the everlasting feast that God has prepared for us. So come and join us on this journey. Let us pray. Holy God, thank you once more for an invitation to see beyond where we are at this moment and to see your kingdom, a place filled with love and with grace, with hope. Help us to know that even when we suffer in this world, your kingdom is always right there before us. We can endure so that we can have everlasting life. 
Help us, Lord, to bring others to this table, to this feast, to stand in solidarity with the broken of the world and issue them the same invitation that you have been calling out to the world for eons of time. Help us this day to see beyond the struggles and into the eternity. Amen. Friends, remember that you are loved, you are worthy, and you were created to be a blessing. So go and be a blessing today any way that you can. Have an awesome day.